Our top story, a proposed ordinance that would ban homeless encampments is getting a lot of attention with those who are against it saying it simply won't work. So council member Stephen Whitburn and uh, it is backed also by Mayor Todd Gloria. They are still standing behind this plan saying that this is needed to address the homeless crisis. But detractors are saying it's not going to work. And KUSI's Teresa Sardina is live in studio with more. And Teresa seems like both sides are very far apart. Yeah, good evening. It's kind of interesting hearing Dan's headline talking about the city's secrets. It kind of applies to my story as well. I spoke with the homeless advocate Michael McConnell today, and he says the city should have had already had sleeping sites open before the problem got worse. And if the ordinance passes, then what? Why isn't the plan public knowledge? Frustrating for people like me who've been pushing them to do something and now all of a sudden they want to push this ordinance without actually having the campsites open or other options. And that's what really what it comes down to. Homeless advocate Michael McConnell wants to know what the plan is if the homeless encampment ban passes San Diego City Council in June. I think it's pretty telling that they just can't answer basic questions. It kind of mirrors what's been happening with this administration for years. Council member Stephen Whitburn's proposed ordinance would make it illegal for the unhoused to set up tents on public property within two blocks of schools, homeless shelters, trolley tracks and transportation hubs, parks and waterways. In a previous interview with council member Whitburn, he says with this ordinance comes safe sleeping sites where people living in tents can go. I think it is inhumane to allow people to continue to live on the sidewalks. McConnell says the city needs more safe sleeping sites. People at the mayor's office have a calculator or maybe they just don't know how to use it. But there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people out on our streets. Everybody knows this. And most people know the mayor's not really doing much about it, which is why he's looking for this political stunt to just make it look like he's doing something. He says the two sites on the calendar, it's just not enough. As shown on KUSI, 20th and B Street in Golden Hill is expected to open in July and near Balboa Park in September or October. Each site can hold up to 400 tents. The math doesn't add up. A question that people aren't asking is, and the mayor's already announced this, he is closing the largest shelter in the city by the end of the year, Golden Hall, which is about 500 beds. So even if he opens 500 safe campsites, that's only about the amount that he's closing yeah. down. How will the city enforce the sites? How will the city physically relocate the unhoused? And who will physically remove them? I think it's more of a political stunt than anything else. And if there were enough police, which we know the response times are already horrible, so do you really want police out there doing this all day long, uh, moving people from one street to the other, not really doing anything? I mean, that's a big question, too. City Council will vote on the ordinance Tuesday, June 13th. And today we reached out to Council Members Whitburn, LaCava, and Lee to get these questions answered. And they were not available to comment. But Hunter and Rafer, so many questions to this ordinance. My goodness. And just hearing that with the uh, elimination of Golden Hall, we're only going to be breaking even there with the amount of shelter beds. Certainly a lot of questions that deserve those answers. Teresa, we know you'll stay on top of it. Thanks so much.